Mother's Day is celebrated every second Sunday of May and this year just like any other year we go to the streets to collect the thoughts of Kenyan on how it has been growing up with an African mother. You know there's a saying that says African mothers are the most hard mothers to impress but today let's go out to the streets and collect the thoughts of people what they think about their moms what they want to wish them and then maybe we can find out more about the parents whom we really think we know. Kwa majina naitwa Richard Okero. Patricia Usito. Kwa Samuel Donyimbo. Romulo Brian Asiko. I work with Vivo Smartphone and Phone Fan Shop. My good name is Ron Ruka. I am the creative director at Telma World Media. Walter Okibo Pichanga. The C is in charge of lands, fiscal planning and urban development. My name is Santana Mary. I am the office manager at Telma World Media. Judith. I work with Itel Company in Phone Fan Shop. Edna Kangwana, County Minister in Charge of Administration. My name is Walter Rangi, ladies and gentlemen. I am a sports host on uh, Telmo World Media. Frank Makori, sales executive as in a CV collection. George Zagini, I currently run a fast food called Urban Snacks. Naitwa Elijah, I'm a Chakei, hustle ni wholesale. Stella Nyanchama, the managing director at Telmo World Media. MC Afanda Boy, Kutoka Zina Siri Events, Mimi ni MC. My name is Emmanuel Okea, financial consultant. I'm Alexina Ayega, the reigning Miss Tourism in Kisi County. My name is Nana Ediva, I am a wife and a mother of two boys. Wamama wasasi wenye waritorea ni watu wa maana. Kitu ya kwanza waisimike. Kila mtu aisimu wa mama. Kwa maana wa mama wanafanya kazi mingi ya kutunza sisi. She was, she was a very loving mom, hard working. She made sure we want to school. And she was also very, very strict. Mm -hmm. At some point when you do long, she really deal with us. <laughs> she used to tell us, uh, read, 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 read hard. But again, uh, she used to say that uh, it's not all about reading in life that can make you successful. How you be bold in life, yeah, how you respect people in life, how you interact with people. I enough to fence Kenya, but then again, <laughs> I know and, and, I, and I, I know for a fact and everybody knows. Ndiyo tumechapa, but it was maybe sazingine ni makosa yetu. Sazingine it's, it's, it's because uh, they, they wanted to correct us at nature. <laughs> nature to beat your own kid. Okay, not beating, not beating, disciplining, so to say. And what I miss about her the most, like when we were growing up, you know, my mom could like um, say, instead of telling you to um, take care of the home and like cook and prepare stuff and uh, get the clothes from the... The, 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 the cloth line and stuff like that. Mom will tell you, Oti kechi ange chuko na chitu eru? Hmm? Oti kechi ange chitu eru? Noene bitume bitu wea nora ini? Noene habana abu oti kebada igo? Mo isi ni ini? Yani like she's telling you the opposite. Instead of telling you, make sure you get those clothes from outside before it rains. Make sure you remove the maize from wherever mianika uko. Make sure wanga liemboga zisi ngue. Ana kwa mbeo tigechi nye nye chichiri kise. You know our mothers are so special. But now, one thing I want to say about Marcelo Ina, my mom, today being uh, Mother's Day. I remember after my form 4, I got a sibling. So, singe kuwa na wezo wa kufanya, I mean, degree. But Marcelo alisema kwamba, my, my son, I will do everything to make sure kwamba your dream it may come true. Now, uh, I did a diploma. And that everything litaka alinipatia. And, and, and one thing about her ni kwamba, haku taka ni give up rasku moja. Every time alinua ni kolo, aliniambia, no, you can. And I'll support you. Ukipasua kitu atakuambia, ya pasua yote, si baba hako atanunua. <laughs> Alafu, awa kuanga wanakubali, ii maneno ya siku hizi. You know, teenagers of nowadays, si kama sisi. Mi, singe fika hata karibu na chali. You know, yani ni kwa tuna imagine le kichapo mamangu wangelipea. So, we were so conscious of everything that we were doing because our mothers were so strict. She used to tell us there's no going out. Uh, you have to read every now and then. Okay, my mother could not even allow us to watch TV during reading lessons. He, she could even come and touch the TV. If she can feel the TV has some heat, she'll probably know. <laughs> We've been watching TV the entire time. Yeah, so it's hard growing in the African world, but it's very beautiful because that's how we're being raised. That's, how, that's why we are here today. My mom still thinks I'm this little girl, like she, like you need to get home early. Where are you? Like when she's at home, she's always calling. Ah yeah, my wake. Yeah, what time are you coming? Oh, we still have it like mom, I'm coming. So she still thinks you're that little girl and she has to check on you and know like you're safe, you're okay, stuff like that. I think for me, I was raised by two amazing people. That is my grandmother and my mother. For the larger part, I was 
Major Lou with my grandmother. She's one amazing person. Shout out to you, Grace Nyanchama. She's still alive, by the way. Oh, yes, and okay. she's doing an amazing job. And I remember I was like her little pet. Even when I go back to the village right now, people be like, they don't know me personally, but they know that small kiddo that used to, you know, tend there with Grace. So it's an amazing feeling for me to be associated with my grandmother. Even if hata tumewasahau you know sometimes unapata kazi unasahau mama yako <coughs> ningeomba ning vijana wengi sana vijana vijana wote wa, vijana wa sijana na wa, wa fulana today i'm celebrating my mom ask me why because huyu mama ama mama Tony Marisela Loina amenipigania from day one ni kumtu mdogo amenilisha amenivisha i mean make sure everything i need in this world ameweza kufanya ngapata no person who would ever take good care of me kama si mama yangu mama ni mtu wa maana sana hata nime nimekuwa na ile lwa mzuri kuwa na mama wa kwanza kuteuliwa kama chaji mkuu ile kitu ilikuwa kwa roho yangu nimefurahia sana so kwa ufupi mama mzazi ni mama wa maana katika hii nchi sichawei wana mama mlevi hata kipatia hata alewe kabisa asahau kupatia mtoto ni matiti kwa mabua anampatia direct hata akao zingizi um, well the, the tough times are always there for for kids growing up and of course you know the motherly love has to be there because they try and mold us to be the people they want us to be in society so however much it was a tough one growing up under kisi uh, mother mm -hmm. you know how kisi mothers are yeah. uh, i'm very grateful and and of course the experience has been a good one so what do you want well i remember my mom to be um, a very very tough woman on me mm -hmm. uh, she was a very strong dis disciplinarian mm -hmm. But uh, above all, she has been a loving mother. Mm -hmm. She has set a platform for me across the years. Mm -hmm. And um, now I think I, I have a lot to thank her for, mm -hmm. besides the fact that she's, uh, she's still alive and very strong and, mm -hmm. and on her feet. So. Mimi niliai iba pesa ya mama yangu kwa mpesa. Nikatumia boyfriend. My mom threatened me, akani threaten, akani threaten, lakini... I was in class six, and then uh, I had uh, ten bob. Yeah. Ten bob that time it was a small note, yeah. and then my mom got me with that. It really, she really picked me up mm -hmm. because she thought maybe I was in a relationship and someone had given me the ten bob. Uh, she never gave me an opportunity to explain where I got it from. We started a small charm. I think we used to do like one bob, one bob, you know. Then I was, it was my turn, I was given 10 bob. Before I could explain to my mom, I got a pity. And then later when I told mom what it was, mom was so sorry. I think I remember that so much. She's still alive. Uh, she was the best mom ever. Uh, her thing, the way she brought me up and all of us, was different. I don't know whether I can apply it the same to my children, but my mom trusted me so much. She treated me like an, an adult, where you just talk things, you know, talk about uh, early pregnancy, people stopping, uh, dropping out of school, having relationships at that age, and uh, the repercussions and such. I think my mom uh, made me even hate taking soda because I, they used to call the big soda my in my place. Yeah. Then I used to think like, uh, if you, somebody buys you that, next thing you're going to become pregnant. The freedom she gave me, um, I didn't want to mess her up. So I had to grow up very, very fast and become so responsible, not really for me, but not to let down my mom. And I think it worked. Mm -hmm. You know when you are in campus and then you go, those boys' uh, cubes and then it's written, this is the room your mama told you not to enter. I could remember what my mom used to tell me. In life, we can agree that the most important person who ever takes the biggest agony in life to bring the kids up is, are the mothers. And they are the people who groom and most, in most of the occasions, even the behavior, the way the kids look like, or, or rather start doing things, is from what, what they learn from the mothers. Because most of the time, it's the mothers who are close to them, it's the mothers who guide them in every step they make, and you learn a lot. The mothers have got that resilience of keeping the, baby clo the, the children close to them and guiding them in every step they take. And that one makes whom we are as big people later on. For me, Mother's Day brings back 
lots of memories since I lost my mom back in 2004. And I don't have much to say about her because I didn't get the opportunity to, to have that, to create memories with her. But the few memories that I have about her, Nakumboka, she was a disciplinarian, alikuwa no nonsense. And as much as I'm a last born, I was pampered, but she instilled discipline in me. And uh, maybe a uh, token of appreciation to my aunties and my grandmom who took good care of me. Baka, I'm here because of them. I was in Form 3. Watu lufukuzwa fee, but sikuwa na area, so ni kamuwa kutoka. So ilibidi niende home, nirudi, shule badai na mother. So mother kukamu, hakula kutoka kujua mimi ni boys ama demu. Hali ninyorosha mbaya zana. Ndo moment sitawe sao, but pia na unakwa kuninyorosha hapo pia linsaidia because I'm who I am today. Naeza ani le angu kidogo, na sisi mpigia simu at times, and nikimpigia simu maybe ni mweke yake. For the moment you accept, you know, to be now a mom and to have that title, you're already doing an amazing job. And trust me, it comes with its own challenges and determinations, but you can pull this through. There are many, uh, maybe in one way, they lost their children at birth, or they grew up and they, they lost their, their children. I want to tell them that uh, motherhood is not about that child you see, it's about the experience you had and what you feel inside your heart. Just um, continue holding on. You never know, God will press you, and if God doesn't press you, I think there are so many alternatives that I've seen mothers who are adopting children and loving them equally because it's about giving care to a human being who is not really reciprocating back. So I just want to encourage them uh, that um, it's not the end. And uh, they just need to look at the seed that that unfortunate thing planted. They get that seed, they germinate it for the beautiful story to come. Yeah. When I was growing up, my mother was the, always the disciplinarian. So yeah, I, I, I credit that to her. She raised me to be the man I am, so she really did a good job because I remember back in the day I was a little bit cheeky and uh, it was up to her to make me who I am right now. Hey, mother, I was a mnoma. I was a little footsteps of my mother. I was a just that God was going to down. Hey, na I was tough. I was a little bit tough. I was a little bit tough. I was a little bit tough. I was a twin brother. I was a wholesale money. I was a little bit tough wholesale. Anakosa so ajui ni nani, so inabidi wote tunachapo. Tuna, tuna Actually my childhood uh, confessing since I'm, I'm the last born. So I was, a, I was a bit of mama's boy. Most of the time, the, the best I can remember of my mother is uh, being, 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 being the best mother and being everything to me. Supportive. Uh, I never, being a last born, I never had the rough time with her. Uh, I remember one day uh, we went to play. And then I was to go to the river and take some water. And then we just came late because we were playing. Wow, I, could, I found myself in the last born uh, in a family of, uh, I have other four, four bra I, have, I have three brothers and one sister. So we are five, five, five children. My childhood was quite interesting uh, because mostly I was protected by my brothers. Every other time we do a mistake, he's the one who was, uh, who was always beaten. But my childhood was pretty, pretty okay. I had everything uh, a child would ever want. Besides, you know, these other uptown things, uh, my mother was very, very strict. Mina Jua, Arakuna time, my mother couldn't beat us. Literally, Alkona Nishika and Niuma, but uh, she gave us tough love and I, I, I appreciate all that uh, about her. There's nothing that I've never told my mother because my mother, she has always made us be open to her. We are ever open to her and we tell her like everything. The only thing I, I keep repeating is I love my mother so much. She's even helping me to raise my own son and I'm a mother as well. Shangu, mama there you are mimi napenda mziki. So you are there you are kabisa mpaka waleo. Anajua, alinifunza, nipeleka shuli, nikafanya electrical and electronics, which I don't do at the moment. I only do uh, music, MC, and part as, as DJ. In my case, in my case, we had a family of four. And uh, my mom was single. Like, uh, uh, my, dad, my dad died. Uh, he left at a very young age. But she single-handedly raised us, making sure we had all we, we all you wanted, schooling, feeding, shelter, and everything. So for single mothers, uh, even if you're single, uh, life, 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 life is what it takes. Life is what it takes. So for single mothers out there, you know the first one, 
most of us we were brought up by single mothers and here we are we are full grown ups went to school living good all the mama out there when you wako on a raise watoto be tough on them like our mamas was tough on us and things will go good i believe like, like how my mama was tough to me mama akiwa tough kwa mtoto ata bring up mtoto akiwa mtu mzuri mimi napenda mke wangu sana ani to joseph ni masaya nyanjama to our mamas including me we need to press on we know kids are really giving us hard time but we need to press on yes so i want to wish all the females especially my mom yeah wherever you are i wish you all the best uh, you are the best and then one thing i want to tell you uh, it's it's been a secret to me but i want to tell a uh, public that naeka pesa na kujengea mansion soon sound is amazing i think when i look back on my life i'm not young i think i'm in mid age right now uh, the best thing the, the one thing that i've achieved is uh, being a mother yeah. i know no one will take away that when i look at them when my day is when everything is just not going the way i want to go back and i look at my children and uh, it gives me such fulfillment and funny enough is um i i am a mother of five when i look at them uh, everyone is different mm-hmm. and i'm like this one looks like me or like the father mm-hmm. characters i'm trying to look at who looks like me who does things like me they're all different no one is like me no one is like the father it's just a cocktail just unique unique beings i highly appreciate the mothers and i appreciate my mother in particular for the time that she took upon me i don't have so many scars in my body i don't have too much problems i'm healthy and that is because of the strength of the mothers the difference uh, between uh, me growing up and them growing up right now is that uh, they are, the way they look at things is different i think at a young age they have this global look you know like sometimes they ask a question they just want to compare themselves with someone maybe uh, who is not even in kenya when i grew up i think my my world was so small it was the village where i grew up and maybe uh, the next person i knew was maybe my primary teacher or something so it's different and then with the age of um, technology right now especially with covid yeah. it has become different that everyone has a gadget sometimes i get chills what are my children looking at i try to put rules they break them you know like every day we, i just have to remind them it's much harder I don't know whether I can trust them the way my mom did trust me but I'm trying to really match my mom's way and my way. Happy Mother's Day and mothers are greatest things that ever happened to anyone in, in his life. For those of us who lost our moms, yeah, we wish them. We wish uh, with, uh, we are hoping that they are in a better place and may their souls continue resting in peace. <laughs> my wish would be God to give me long life to give me that opportunity that my mom Alikosa of seeing me growing up to wherever I am to all the mothers out there and everybody na mama yako na kila mtu happy mothers day mpende mama zenu hata kama tunakosa nanga saa zingine it's all love at the end of the day so i wish all the moms happy mothers day it's beautiful to be a mother it's a challenge but we we are ever told embrace the challenges make them beautiful and motherhood is very beautiful so i wish all the mothers happy mothers day and embrace as a woman there's women women empowerment uh, i chiza i'm wishing all mothers in the world happy mothers day and i encourage them to bless their own motherhood mm-hmm. all the mothers out there are celebrating mothers day this week i'd really like to wish each and every one of you guys a very very good mothers day uh besides the fact that you guys are our pillars we love you so much and uh, yeah we have a lot in store looking forward to the future with our mothers so to all mothers out there eko najua ni ngumu kukuwa mother i am a mother too i know the hustle and stuff but you know god has given us strength as mothers and we always conquer we always conquer in one way or the other so i take this opportunity to wish all mothers out there a happy happy mothers day Mothers, what are you going to I'm wishing you a happy Mother's Day. Yeah, na na wapenda. <laughs> happy Mother's Day from Francis Makori Azina Siri Collection. The Happy Mother's Day to every woman out there who's making it happen for your children and also Happy Mother's Day 
to every father out there who's taking care of his child. Yeah. Every mother out there, a happy mother's day. Isiku ya mama, yasimewe sana. Iwe nisiku ya nyimewe, inaweko kando, tunajua hii nisiku ya kina mama. Kira mutu wa isimu isiku. My name is Edna Kangwana. I am a mother. I work in the county government of Kisi as the county minister in charge of administration. I'm very, very happy to be part of this celebration, 2021 uh, Mother's Day celebration. I want to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. My mama, wherever you are, I love you so much. And all the women who have brought me up, they have been more than a mother to me. I salute them wherever they are. I appeal to every person that as we get to the celebration of our mothers, let us create that, that time, go back to the parents and tell them thank you for the good work they did. I'm MC Afan, out as in a series events, Happy Mother's Day. To all the women out there, all the mothers out there, so thank you, we love you so much and keep doing what you do. Hey, uh, my name is George Sagini, Urban Snacks Kisi here. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the world. I'm Chake from Masnet, all mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. You people are very strong. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Bye.